They want to take away my freedom because I will never let them take away your freedom. It's very simple. Former President Donald Trump heads to a New York courtroom for jury selection. It's the start of the first criminal trial of a former president. You know, jury selection is largely luck. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg, an elected Democrat, charged Trump with 34 counts of first-degree falsifying business records, a low-level felony that could result in up to four years behind bars if convicted. It's very unfair that I'm having a trial there. It's very unfair that we have this judge who hates Trump and has tremendous conflict, as you know, tremendous conflict. Nobody can believe that this judge isn't recusing himself. Before arrival, Trump posted a campaign video on Truth Social. In the caption, he wrote, when I walk into that courtroom, I know I will have the love of 200 million Americans behind me, and I will be fighting for the freedom of 325 million Americans. They're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I just happen to be standing in their way, and I will never be moving. When asked at Mar-a-Lago while hosting House Speaker Mike Johnson, Trump confirmed he indeed would bear witness. Yeah, I would testify, absolutely. It's a scam. It's a scam. That's not a trial. The core of the case features allegations of various alleged sex scandals that prosecutors say Trump attempted to conceal with the help of his former attorney and fixer, Michael Cohen. Cohen paid $130,000 to adult film star Stormy Daniels in the final days of the 2016 election for silence about an alleged affair with Trump in 2006. Trump denies it ever happened. It's a witch hunt that takes place in New York and that is taking place. And it's very bad for New York and it's very bad and it's very bad for the judicial system in New York. The case will be presided over by New York Supreme Court Justice Juan Merchant, who has imposed a gag order on the former president. The issue for Trump is Merchant's daughter, Lauren, who he says creates a conflict of interest for the judge with her years of work for a consulting firm receiving millions of dollars from Democratic lawmakers. With Cohen as the star witness, it could pose a risk to the prosecution as Cohen pleaded guilty in 2018 in federal court to lying to Congress, tax evasion and campaign finance violations.